I'm going to show you how to make a super quick um, cat bed. Super quick and easy too. This is one of those extra boxes that you get from Sam's Club or Costco where they give you the option to put your stuff in a box and take it home. Simple. It's a big one. It has this cute little opening on each side. And when I saw it, I thought, wow, super neat cat bed. You also need duct tape. This is my fabulous Hello Kitty duct tape. Um, you need a blanket. Old blanket that, you know, no one really uses. And you also need a larger blanket. This one has to be large enough, like, if you drape it over the top to measure it, it has to be twice the size. At least twice the size. Now, that's all you need. You're going to take your first old blanket, probably the one that's the fluffiest or softest, whatever, and you fold it in thirds. For those who don't know, it's one, two, three. Boom. You place it inside the center of your box. Now, when you fold your blanket, if it's too small for the center of your box, um, open it up and do it hot dog, hot dog length. You know how you fold a paper long ways? And then retry it that way. And you want to get it nice and in the center. Then you're going to take your old blanket. Oh, and if you have pieces like I did that are in the middle, you can just duct tape them down. And you're going to take a piece of duct tape and duct tape the center of your blanket to the bottom of the box. Just like that. You're going to take your blanket and stretch it out with your box. You're going to take the first piece. Let me turn it around so you can see it. And scratch it down so you still have that opening. And make sure that it's draped over. Then, you're going to take your next piece under the box. Oops. If you have a partner to help you, that's also good. Now, when you do this, you want to try to flatten the material on the bottom of the box. Now remember, you take like, so the tape is right here, but you can't see it anymore. And you want the bottom flat. So let's say you want to sit your cat box on a window ledge. Wait, that's not big enough, but you know, some place that's elevated, you want it to be flat so it can stay balanced. Now the first part you do is tuck in the sides, because that's going to see, you have a lot of excess fabric. And you tuck the sides into the corner around your blanket. Almost like you're wrapping a gift. Almost. And if you have too much, like I do, which I didn't even notice, <laughs> but you can, um, like, just ball it up in the center. Now, you're going to have this excess fabric that it looks like the inside of your box is covered and the outside of all your edges are covered. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take that fabric, I have a pre-torn piece of duct tape. You don't need that much. You can just stick it, mm, maybe about the length of a hand. Take the duct tape and you take one edge and then duct tape it to the other side. You're going to fold it in, corner to edge of your box, corner to edge of your box, and you're going to get a triangle. Again, like you're folding, I meant wrapping, yeah, like you're wrapping a gift. And you're going to go ahead, and once you get it inside your opening, you want to flatten it out. And it'll make like a little poof.
that's the inside and if you want to secure it you can um maybe put some duct tape on the inside piece of fabric but the reason why you don't want to use too much duct tape is because you want to be able to come out come off so you can wash it so it's washable it's cheap and almost completely free if you have duct tape and now we need a test cap two yay this is our test cat too. Say hi. Meow. And we place two in the cat box. I meant her cat bed. Properly adjust her. And ta-da YouTube! You have a quick and easy cat bed. Have fun crafting.